everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life. This is a follow-up to my last Tombow brush pen video. I didn't end up getting this set in time for that video to go up, so I am making another one. And this is a bigger set. This one is called the Perfect Blends Palette, and I like this one because it does have like two and three very similar colors. So you have a light, medium, dark, or a light and dark, and I'm really excited about it. It is a 20 pack and disclaimer, it is summertime, kids are home, they are doing something in the other room, but being extremely loud as far as like how they're talking and stuff. So you will hear kid voices in the background and um, we're just gonna roll with it because it is summertime. So I am flipping here to my Tombow part of my color swatch. And some of this might be duplication of what I already have. So I'll just have backups for whatever colors are duplicates. I thought this set was really nice. It also came with a colorless uh, blender, which is great. And that's called N00. It's just a blender. And these are water-based, so they're not gonna blend the same as like alcohol-based markers. And we're just gonna walk down the list. I'm not gonna swatch this one, but it's just um, colorless. It's kind of like a water pen. And then we've got this one, 676, which I did end up getting in the Galaxy set. And I think that's a really pretty purple. I think I'm gonna use that one a lot. So having a duplicate of that one is totally fine. And then this is 665. So that one is a new to me one. I'm gonna rotate here. Oh, that one's pretty. It leans a little bit pinky and very pretty. And while these do have uh, two sides to them, I tend to just use um, the larger side. I end up using it mostly for highlighting, not really even brush lettering. 673, that's this one. So it's these three purples in the pack. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Nice light purple. Very nice. And then as far as the pinks, I may have some of these pinks. 817, and this is my favorite pink. It's like a dusty rose type of pink. I'm so glad to have a duplicate because mine is starting to dry out. So that one actually is a really good duplicate to have. And then this one is 723. I have that one right here. It's a medium pink, but it leans a little bit bright, almost kind of like fluorescent -y undertones for that one. It reminds me of like a pink highlighter almost. And then this one is 703, which I just got in the Galaxy set as well. And this one's like a really nice bubblegum type of pink. So those were quite a bit of duplication. And this is 401, let's see where that is. It's over here in the teal section. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty. So I've got these two. These two are also like tealy leaning blues, but I feel like this is more of like that aqua that I really, really like. So I think I'll be using that one quite a bit for highlighting and stuff. And then we've got 403, which is the next tealy based one. Oh yeah, love that one. That one goes really well with all of these different tealy colors. And honestly, the 403 and 443 are very, very similar. This one leans a little bit more blue, where this one leans a teeny bit more green. But I think you could get away with just one of those. You wouldn't need both. And then a darker one. This is 407, which is that darker shade. So it came with these three teals, which do seem to go together really, really well as far as a blending set. And then red, we've got one red over here. 845, this will be a different red. Yeah, that one, I don't know, that one's like almost a lipstick red. Really pretty. I actually like that one better than the 856 because this one's a little bit dark. And then this is 925. Let's see, don't have that orange yet. Ooh, and I like that too. As far as oranges, I have just a really light orange and like a peachy toned orange. And this is like, you know, your pumpkin orange. Very pretty. Make sure I'm on camera for you guys. Yeah, love that one. And then yellow. This one, uh, I actually already have. This is the 985. So it's like a golden roddy type of orange. I have that one already. Very pretty. And then this is 277. Don't have that, it's over in the screens section. 277, that one's really pretty. I ended up getting this like emeraldy type green in the Galaxy set, and this is more like your primary, you know, crayon box green. Very pretty. And then we've got 195, that's up here at the top. And that's really pretty. It's like a nice 
liney, grassy type of green. And I hear children coming. And this is 173, so I put that over here. Ooh, that one's really pretty. So I really like those two. All right, now they're jumping upstairs. We've got a few of those nugget couches, which I probably should review for you guys. We love them actually so much. Now we have three of them and they build like the craziest obstacle courses and jumping things between those and the Squishmallows. They just go crazy. So you're gonna hear lots of loud elephant sounds coming in the background, but we're gonna continue on. This one is 515. So this is leading into the bluer colors now. And that one. I feel like it's super close um, with 443. So I don't know. Some of the colors, like the more colors you get of something, and I learned this with Copics, if you get more colors, you have more that are so close to the same color that you really could get away with just one or the other. This is 452. Wait, wait. 452. Oh, I already have that one right here. So I feel like sometimes you could totally get away with just one or the other. Like these two colors totally look the same. You could definitely get away with 665 or 676. They are very, very similar colors. Some of these blues seem to be very, very similar leaning. But this is 451, which I also already have. So I've got duplicates of some of these and they do end up drying out over time. So I don't mind having a few duplicates here and there. And then this is 491. So that's like a lighter blue. Oh yeah, you can barely see that one. It's very, very light. So that'd be a really good one to use for very subtle highlighting. But yeah, like I feel like some of this could be, you know, you'd pick like one of your favorite of these three teals or pick between 515 and 443. As far as the greens, these are both like darker toned greens. You could pick between those two. The pinks are very similar. The purples are very similar. These two reds are very similar. You don't necessarily need all of the colors. I was just trying to get a nice array of each color. Like I could do a whole rainbow now because I have a bit of color in every group. And I really wanted the grayscale set I showed you guys in my last Tombow video. That gives me a lot of different grays to work with, which I think is great because the grays are quite different. Like if you have a warm toned gray, it's very different from a cool toned gray. So I think those will come in handy a lot more than some of these that are like really, really similar colors there. But I'm happy overall with these colors. I feel like now I don't need anything else unless there's like big gaps in between here. I can pick individual colors here and there to fill in, but I feel like I'm pretty set now. I've got a great array of all the rainbowy colors and I could probably do any kind of color themed spread with these that I have now. So that was a really nice set. Almost every color in the rainbow, I think you get it in this set. So it's got a lot of good blending pairs. I would recommend this set for sure if you're especially just beginning out and you wouldn't have duplicates like I have duplicates. This one would be a good one, but this one definitely seems to overlap with the Galaxy set. So maybe choose one or the other, and then you are left with more options. You could go with a different set plus this one or the Galaxy set plus a different set, but not these two overlapping because they do have quite a bit of overlap in the two sets. But I'm actually glad I got this one because now I have a colorless one. I haven't had one of these yet. So I think that'll be fun to play around with. This is the perfect blends set and I think it's a good one. So hope you guys liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I will also link to this set on Amazon and I'll also link to my other Tombow swatch video that I did recently so you can check those ones out as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.